Welcome to this new uh, feature for our uh, iTunes uh, podcasts. Um, what we're going to do is uh, learn some PowerPoint uh, tricks. And what I'm going to do first is uh, uh, teach you how to um, do this animation. right here that we used for the uh, uh, presentation on intracranial hemorrhage. And let's just go ahead and do the animation and see what it looks like. So there was a baseball coming in hitting a skull resulting in an epidural hematoma. Go ahead and we'll get out of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to post these uh, about once a month and uh, the, uh, um, it'll take about five or six episodes probably to teach you how to do uh, this uh, um, this very uh, relatively simple animation, but we're going to work through it step by step, and each of these uh, presentations will last about uh, 10 minutes or so. So, the first thing that we're going to learn how to do is to uh, is to draw a, a baseball, something like this. So, um, what we're going to do is just going to start with a, a blank slide, and the first thing that you may or may not be able to uh, see are the grid lines, and these are the grid lines right here and I like to have the grid lines on I've just turned the grid lines off and the way that you turn the grid lines on is you go to view and you just click on uh, grid lines there and the grid lines will pop up and the reason that I like to have the grid lines on is that they'll give you um, a sort of a, a landmark uh, for some of the uh, uh, for some of the tricks in some of some of your illustrations so let's go ahead and start making that baseball and the first thing we're going to do is go to insert and go to shapes and we're going to go to basic shapes and what we're going to do is we're going to put an oval or a circle onto our uh, slide so go ahead and click on oval and then click uh, somewhere on the uh, slide and an oval is going to uh, pop up now what I'm going to do is change this to make it look more like a, a baseball so I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to a uh, format shape so one thing we want to do is we want to make it uh, make it white instead of blue so let's change our color to blue and let's go ahead and get rid of the line color we're going to have no no line the other thing I want to do is I'm going to make this thing uh, bigger just for illustrations here our real baseball is going to be much smaller uh, than uh, than uh, than this baseball right here but I'm going to go ahead and make this baseball bigger so that we can see it, see what's going on a little more easily so we go to size and position and click lock aspect ratio and we're going to change this and make it four times the size so we're going to increase the size by 400 percent okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, baseball or our nation baseball here right in the uh, in, in the center and that's going to facilitate some of the drawing and some of the lining up that we're going to do so we go to format and go to align and we're going to align center and we're going to align middle so now our baseball, our um, the baseball that we're building is going to be right in the middle. Next thing we want to do is we want to add some depth. So we go to shape effects, and you can see that there's a bunch of different uh, presets that you can that you can use here to change the appearance of this uh, baseball. And the one I'm going to choose is shadow. Of course, there's lots of different ones that you could use. We could use say this one uh, right here that might give the illusion of depth or we could use this uh, shadow right here and uh, that's the one I'm going to uh, use but uh, obviously you're, uh, you have a pretty wide selection of these shape effects to uh, give the illusion of depth okay so what are we missing here we go back and we look at uh, this image here what we need to uh, put in are these seams and the way that we're going to put the uh, seams in is we're going to uh, add a, uh, a line or actually a curve and then what we're going to do is make that curve sort of a dotted line so we need to go back to insert and we need to go to shapes and we need to go to lines and the type of line that we want we have a bunch of potential lines right here the line that we want is the curve so we click on curve and now you're going to see why I put this baseball right into the middle and why I put these uh, grid lines so where this grid line right here uh, touches the baseball we're gonna click once and we're gonna click once along this grid line right here which is towards the center of the uh, baseball and then we're gonna click twice 
down here again along that first grid line. We're going to double click and now we have a, uh, a curved line. And we're going to change that curved line to make it more look more like a seam. So I right click on that line and then I go to Format Shape. So we're going to do a couple things to the, this line. First we're going to change the color and I'm going to change the uh, color to red. So we can go here and we've got all sorts click standard. We've got all sorts of reds that we can use and this is the red I'm going to uh, pick just for grin. So we hit OK. So now we want to change the line style. Remember we wanted to make it dashed. We have a bunch of different uh, options that we can do here. So let's go to dash and I'm going to go ahead and take this dash right here. And you can see that these dashes are really very small so I'm going to make these dashes bigger. I'm going to go ahead and make it a, a 2.5 um, um, width line. Now I'm going to go ahead and close. Alright, so now we've got one seam and that seam doesn't look too bad. So what we're, what we're going to do is just going to copy this seam and put it on the other side of the baseball. So we right click on the, uh, we left click on the line, then we right click and we put copy and then paste. Okay, so now we have a duplicate of our line, but it's obviously not in the right place and it's not in the right orientation. So we go to Format and Rotate and Flip Horizontal. So now we're looking a little bit better. And we go ahead and we put that right here, and that doesn't look too bad, except I'm sort of a perfectionist, so I want these to line up perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on this line right here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the center and right in the middle. And I'm going to do the same with this line right here. I'm going to put it right in the center and I'm going to put it right into the middle. And now what I'm going to do is put these on either side of this uh, baseball. So I've clicked on the line on the left and I'm going to use the arrow keys to move this to where it looks like it's in a pretty reasonable position. I'm going to do the same thing with this over here. Now normally what I do because I'm very persnickety about this is I count the number of arrow clicks uh, and I uh, make it the same number of arrow clicks to the left and to, and to the right. But I'm not going to do that right here because I'm being sort of lazy. So that doesn't look too bad. The next thing we need to do is we need to group all of these uh, objects. So what I do is I left click and I draw a boundary box around all of our stuff right here that selects them all. And I right click on the baseball and go to group and I hit group. Okay, so now we've got a baseball. Let's go ahead and just tilt it a little bit so it looks a little more uh, convincing in terms of uh, looking like a, a baseball. Now, one thing, um, you know, so basically we've got a, a baseball uh, here. One thing that you're going to find when you uh, change the size, let's go ahead and, and, and change the size, and let's go ahead and uh, lock aspect ratio and make make uh, uh, change it by uh, or decrease the size to 20 percent you can see that the uh, that the seam gets a little bit um, uh, gets a little bit odd looking right here so one of the things that you can do is you can ungroup and you can select the seams and format the shape and get it a little more convincing in terms of, uh, of a baseball type uh, appearance. But uh, basically um, that's how uh, very briefly to, uh, to draw a baseball using a PowerPoint. In the future, or the next thing that we're going to uh, do is, uh, is figure out how to draw a, a brain using a PowerPoint and we're going to figure out some ways to cheat to do that. Thank you very much.